Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to discuss the Meraldar Fishing Derby event in Hallowfall, as well as the achievement Derby Dash that awards a mount. It's not that complicated, so let us get right into it. First to mention is that the Meraldar Fishing Derby happens every Saturday for EU, which is probably every Friday in the US. This is why I have put this video a day early, so you can get a chance to do or to finish your achievement. There is a quest NPC that gives you a weekly quest to catch 3 different fishes. Once you accept the quest, you will get a 60 minute buff and a timer which allows you to complete the quest as well as make progress towards the Derby Dash achievement. Once this buff ends, you can no longer complete the quest nor make progress towards your achievement. Also a disclaimer, I have tried to abandon the quest to see if it would give me the buff back. It didn't and I lost 25 Meraldar Derby marks. I also advise you to level up your fishing to the max, which is 300, before attempting to get the achievement. Also, get yourself a fishing rod and a fishing cap. You can buy the green quality rod and the fishing head from the auction house. If you want to take it a step further, you can put up a crafting order for the blue quality head and fishing rod. I myself used a green quality rank 4 fishing rod with the Algari Weaver line and blue quality rank 5 fishing hat. There might be two fish you might not know how to catch, so let me explain. The Awoken Sea Lacanth and the Queen's Lurefish. To catch the Queen's Lurefish, you first have to find the Royal Ripple, which is only in Hallowfall and Ashka Head. You can start fishing but the chances of you fishing up the Queen's Lurefish are slim. To increase the chances, you can buy some real daddy bags. These have an effect that once you use them, you throw them into the water and you will get a buff, which will increase your chance of getting the Queen's Lurefish. To get the Awoken Xylacanth, you have to have at least 10 Whispering Stargazers. Once you have your 10 Stargazers, Go to Ashka Head. Throw 10 stargazers into the water. You will get a buff, which will now allow you to catch the Awoken Silacan. This fish can be fished from the open waters, and this is where your fishing skill might matter. Also, while attempting to catch this fish, I advise you to save up some cursed ghoulfish. They will increase your perception by 15 for 15 minutes, increasing the chances of you getting the Awoken Silacan. One comment on Wowhead recommended to fish in this small cave near the entrance of Tak Rethan Abyss Delve, here on the map. I tried it, and well, see for yourself. I got it on my second try, so it probably works. I also used Ghoulfish Delight, which I purchased for 10 Meraldar Derby marks. You see, I tried to finish the achievement a week before, but I couldn't catch the Awakened Silacanth because my fishing wasn't maxed out and I didn't have the fishing cap. But lucky for me, the achievement progress is saved, so if you do not catch the fishes the first week, you can always complete it the next week. And in case you are not sure where to find each fish, I have prepared a table of where to find each and every one. Once you complete the achievement, I recommend you still attending the fishing derby, since there are a few cooking recipes and transmogs you might be into. If you decide to do so, please note that you get one Meraldar Derby mark for the first fish of each type you catch that day. To put it simply, there are 20 different fishes you can catch, meaning that you can get 20 additional Meraldar Derby marks in addition to the 25 from the quest. Whew, well, you have made it to the end of the video. I hope everything was understandable and you will now get your Ka, Legend of the Deep, as well as max out your Meraldar Derby marks for the sick transmogs. And a random question of the video is, what is your favorite cake? Let me know in the comments. For me, it's probably gonna be caramel flavored cheesecake. Thank you so much for watching the video, like it if you liked it, and make sure to cast your storm bolt on the subscribe button as well. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later!